I'm so excited and frustrated at the same time. It's crazy. Hey, this is Rochelle and welcome to Multiple Passive Streams of Income. I have a couple of updates at the end, so please listen to the entire video. And please support the channel by purchasing a fresh helium t-shirt. You can never have enough tea, so get yours today. I can't wait to get my first Helium hotspot. And by the time I get it, the halving, which is August 1st, will probably have happened. And even though that's a slight bummer, I do believe the HNT coin price will increase over time. And the next halving is not until August 1st, 2023. So I believe there will be at least two years of good profitability. And then when 5G finally happens, the volume of that market will supersede everyone's hotspot output. So I think the profitability potential is very strong, even in the light of the halving. So what will I do when my hotspots are on the way? I plan to check the hotspot landscape to see how many other hotspots have entered the Helium network close to the locations that I've planned out. I like using helium.place because the map is clear and it shows streets and landmarks. So just quickly, if you want to use helium.place, you just enter the address into the search bar. Give the site a few seconds to zoom into the location on the map. Click the hamburger menu icon at the top left and toggle off the sweet spot and location red zone toggles. And that will allow you to see the map. You can hover on the hotspot dots on the map to see the hotspot name, the reward scale, whether the hotspot is online or not, and the distance information. And then just click the hotspot name to see the number of hotspots that that hotspot is communicating with, AKA the witnesses, and the rewards the hotspot is earning. Now, the next thing I plan to do is to utilize hotspotrf.com. The site gives you 10 free credits, which will allow you to simulate locations to get an estimate of how a hotspot will perform at any location. For some reason, my simulation credits didn't work, but once I bought 10 credits for $10, I was then able to see the rewards part of the information and the site is pretty easy to use. So to start, you wanna click portal on the top right. Enter the location you plan for your hotspot in the search bar in the upper right and click a location when the search bar shows you choices. The site will zoom into the location on the map, so give it a few seconds. Then you will see this screen. Now you will have to enter information about the hotspot and the location to have Hotspot RF simulate and estimate your hotspot location. So the first field is the frequency, and that's gonna be determined by the country of your location. So mine would be the US 915 megahertz. The antenna gain will be determined by the hotspot type you are buying. You can click the settings guide in the upper left corner and it will show you the stock antennas for each type of hotspot. Now, I have pre-orders for two synchro bits and a Bobcat so far. So the guide tells me that synchro bit has a 2.3 dBi stock antenna. So that's what I'm gonna use for this example. Next, the guide states to enter zero in the cable loss field if you're not using a long gated antenna. So I'm just gonna leave that field as zero. One of the places I've planned is a six floor apartment in Manhattan. So the guide gives you examples of heights, but you can also Google that and get an estimate of what the height might be. 
Lastly is the terrain. And mine is gonna be urban, but you can choose from suburbs, wooded area, and if you're very fortunate, clear line of sight. Next, just click simulate location. It will take a couple of minutes to see the simulation output, so let it do its thing. When it's finished, the top info gives you the reward scale. Now, I've heard that the reward scale is determined by the nearby hotspots. And if you are communicating with the same hotspots that the nearby hotspots are communicating with, that's going to diminish your rewards. I've also heard that the reward scales of the hotspots that you communicate with also has a bearing on your HNT total. So what I mean by that is if I'm communicating with hotspots that have 1.0 rewards, that's a good thing versus communicating with hotspots that have 0.50 rewards. So the next info estimates how many hotspots you will be able to communicate with from that location. The next piece of information is the estimate of rewards. So you just multiply your monthly total by the price of HNT to get an estimate of the possible passive income your hotspot may be capable of achieving. The next box shows you the names of the reached hotspots. So you can click on the arrows to see all the names. Another couple of tools that may be helpful are Google Earth and Google Maps. If you know of a location you might can partner up with, and maybe you don't really know the location specifically, like let's say it's a friend of a friend, and you wanna see if there are obstructions around it, you can use these sites to kind of get a picture of the surroundings. So those are the tools I'll be using. Remember, if your planned location ends up sucking, you can try different antennas to see if you get a different result. And if that fails, you can think of putting your hotspot in another location. You can move your hotspot to another location, but you have to re-register it on the Helium network. And I believe that that's $10 every time you do that. Now don't quote me, this is something that I heard from other YouTubers. So I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I heard $10 was the going rate. Now as a last resort, I'm quite sure if everything fails, you can just sell the hotspot at a premium if you just can't find a location because these units are back ordered, so people will pay you more to get their hands on one. So I feel like this is a no brainer and you basically can't lose. But I would say with a little ingenuity, I'm quite sure everyone can find at least one profitable location. So whether that be partnering with relatives, friends, friends of friends, there, there's definitely a location out there. I'm quite sure everyone can get at least one of those locations. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I emailed Synchrobit about not having FCC approval and to make sure that the antennas ship with the unit because when I was looking on the site it kind of looked like the pictures didn't have the antennas attached and they kept talking about you can buy a bundle with your hotspot so I just wanted to make sure that when you order the hotspot the antennas come with it and then also to ask about the FCC approval so I did get an email and they did say at that time that they were waiting for FCC approval and they couldn't ship any, any uh, units until that happens. Then I thought I heard on YouTube again that Synchrobit did get some FCC approval, but I couldn't find anything to prove it. But when I went back to the site, I don't see that same message that I saw two weeks ago. So maybe that's the reason why people think they have the approval. So I just sent out another email to Synchrobit today to get some further clarification and I'll give an update on next week's video. Also, lastly, 
There is a company called fairspot.host and they are offering a free hotspot with a 70-30 split with you receiving 70% and they receive 30%. Now this is way better than the other companies who are offering 80-20 splits with you keeping 20% and them getting the 80%. That's highway robbery. So they also are stating that they'll give you the hotspot after 500 days of uptime. So all of you that are still hesitating on this opportunity, keep checking their site. Now, right now they're waiting for inventory too, but you can follow them on Twitter to get notified when their inventory arrives. So please comment, let me know what hotspot type you're waiting for and how long you've been waiting. And if anyone can't find a location for their hotspot, let's see if we can solve the problem by partnering up together. I'm in the New York City area, so I'm quite sure we can arrange an amicable partnership. Also, consider getting that dope helium t-shirt at mpsoi.com, which stands for Multiple Passive Streams of Income. As always, thanks for your time, as I know you could be any other place right now. Take care.